Hey everybody, it's me Lucas LDG, and I'm going to be reviewing a pretty kind of hard to find set, um, which is the Lego Harry Potter 2019 Rise of Voldemort Lego set. Which the reason for this is that it's actually a limited edition set, which is kind of interesting. Um, but without further ado, let's take a look at the minifigures first. So the first minifigure who I'm going to be taking a look at is Harry Potter who has a pretty awesome design and this is exclusive as all the minifigures in the set are. And the thing that makes him exclusive is his torso printing which is his Tri-Wizard competition torso which looks super cool with the red and black and you can see it says Potter on the back and a pretty cool torso print on the front. And he has a wand which on the bottom you can use to like hold it like that which is pretty cool. Uses mid legs in black or the medium sized legs. Pretty cool face print, which is nothing new, it's actually pretty common. And uses the Ninjago movie Lloyd's hair in a black, which is pretty cool, and it's exclusive to the Lego Harry Potter theme. We need to get this hair piece in more colors. Next minifigure is Wormtail or Peter Pettigrew, who looks super cool. I really love this design and is also exclusive, like I said in the first clip. And yeah, pretty nice design. I love his suit and a pretty cool. Um, knife piece, a wand piece, and this hand is actually in a gray because it's actually his metal hand which does get chopped off, his regular hand gets chopped off, which is pretty dark, but I still like that detail. Really like the face print which looks very accurate to Peter Pettigrew, and he has an angry face print on the back. And his hair piece is Obi-Wan Kenobi's hair from Attack of the Clones. We have a Death Eater which looks pretty cool, another exclusive one using that new dress piece, which uh, looks pretty cool. Um, black wands, pretty cool torso print, no alternate face, but a pretty nice mask detailing, which unfortunately has a little problem in the printing where it looks super faded and it does not look nice. Still a nice mini figure though, and I really like that new hat piece. He who must not be named is in the set, or I guess Lord Voldemort, which is probably my favorite of all the Voldemorts. Um, this looks pretty great. I like this design with the black and green detailing on the torso, which you can kind of see. I'm putting it right under the light, and you can kind of see that there, which that yeah, looks pretty nice. And once again, using that black dress piece, a pretty cool face print as well, and a nice black, oh sorry, white wand, which looks pretty cool. And you can see his back torso printing, which also has some of that green detailing on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. Next up is this little statue, which some people might not consider as a minifigure, but I do because it contains minifigure parts like that new dress piece in gray, which lots of that new dress piece actually, and the cool gray torso and plain gray face, plain gray hood, a scythe, which that looks nice, wings, which you can move up and down. And this is a pretty cool minifigure for something that does not have any printing on it, which that looks pretty good. And now moving on to the builds, that statue actually can have a spot right there on that stud on Tom Riddle's grave. You just sit it right there. That looks pretty good. Either way, the build of the set looks pretty nice. It's a very substantial build, very small, and still works. I really like the platforms they have here, which has some overgrowth, moss, and even a lot of gravestones, which you have one here with a, a frog in a little gray, which that looks pretty good. And on that little platform, there is a bit of overgrowth right here, as well as some vines, which that gravestone does just go on a clip. It's very small. And there's this front gravestone right here. Another one here with some more overgrowth with the vines. Some more overgrowth over here, as well as another gravestone with a Deathly Hallow symbol, which in the box it says it's like a side build or anything, but it does have a spot on these two little jumpers, which just fits like that. That looks pretty nice. And onto the middle, there is another gravestone, which is a play feature. And before we get to that, you can see some more overgrowth details. And now to the feature, there's this little panel right here, which opens and closes. And it's meant to be like that because this is like where you put Voldemort in. So you just stick him there on these little studs right here. Open this, flop, plop this down. And as you can see, there's this little area right here, which you press that and Voldemort pops out. And behind all of that, there's a little tombstone for Tom Riddle. 
which has a little pot right here, which has some pretty gruesome detailings, which we'll take a look at that in a bit. But before that, we have these little fire detailings, which that looks nice. But inside that pot, this is some pretty gruesome details. We have blood, which is insane. We have Harry's blood, which part just fell off. And even baby Voldemort, or what I call baby Voldemort, which looks pretty creepy and adorable at the same time. And has the bone of Peter Pettigrew, or not Peter Pettigrew. I think it was like the bone from, was it the father? I think, I don't remember that scene too much. And the hand of Peter Pettigrew, oh my god, this is so awesome. I love that detail. That's pretty cool. And you just put them all in that little pot piece. And that looks pretty good. And there are no studs, or sorry, anti-studs on the bottom. You just plop on there pretty well. That looks good. But beyond that, you can see that there's a sticker with Tom Little, as well as that place where he put the statue, which you can see just stays there. And there's a spot for Harry. You can put him there. The statue can sort of guard him, which that is pretty cool. I like that scene. And then behind that, there is this little, some more overgrowth right here. And yeah, that's really it for the builds of the set. Not much else to point out. So let's take a look at the box. Okay, I actually completely forgot to put this segment in, but they actually include a port key right here, which looks pretty cool. It's different from the one in the CMFs, and this one's some brick-built one instead of a full mold, which um, kind of prefer, I kind of like this one more, um, which pretty simple build. I really like this one. And clips on the side, so many you can hold it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about this thing. Now let's move on to the box. So here's the front and the back. Now I honestly think that this set is great. I love the design of the gruesome detailing with that blood, which is kind of creepy. And I love the minifigures, which all of them are exclusive, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And the build is also pretty cool, but simple. And um, yeah, just an overall really great build. Don't have much else to say about this besides the fact that maybe they could have expanded on this, maybe made it a bit bigger. But, um, yeah, pretty cool set overall. So, I'll give this set a 9 out of 10. A very high 9 out of 10. So, yeah, guys, that's it for the video. And hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.